So I've gotten some requests to uh, update my importing AVCHD into Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. And uh, Apple released version 10.1 a couple of months ago, and since the process for importing your footage has changed a little bit, and it's actually a little bit simpler, uh, which is a good thing. Um, so first of all, I'll either hook up my uh, AVCHD camera via USB, uh, or I'll take the card out of the camera and put it into my computer. I have a card. I'll insert it now, and you can see it popped up on my desktop. It's a Canon camera, so the card is called Canon. Start up Final Cut Pro. I have version 10.1.1. Uh, this process will work for version 10.1 and later. And what's different about what's different about Final Cut 10.1 uh, is uh, the events and projects are now stored in uh, things called libraries. You can see on the left-hand side of my um, bin window here, I have uh, my Macintosh SSD library. I also have uh, what I call a training library. And within that training library is an event uh, called Tutorials. And within this Tutorials event, I actually have a project started uh, for this video. Uh, what's different is that you, you actually store uh, your video footage and projects within the events now, uh, rather than separately as it was in earlier versions of Final Cut. So to uh, import some footage, I uh, just have to go to this Import button on the left-hand side of the interface. I can also uh, hit Command-I uh, to get to this Media Import window. And you'll see, since I uh, inserted my, inserted my uh, SD card in the computer earlier, that on the left-hand side I have uh, an option called Canon. Click on that. There's a couple of little ways you can view your footage on here, these buttons. Uh, list View or Thumbnail View. I'll go to Thumbnail View so you can see something. And I have uh, 46 clips on this card. Um, you can uh, import all uh, with this blue button down here, which is what I usually like to do. Um, if you just want to import a couple of clips, you can click a clip and hold the command key and uh, select a few of them that you'd like to import. I just want to import everything, so I'll click in the gray area here to deselect my clips. But uh, hit the blue button for import all. There's a couple options at the top here. You can add to an existing event. Uh, called Tutorials. You can see there's a couple options here. Uh, Macintosh, SSD, or Training Libraries. And within these libraries are events. So we created the event within our training library called Tutorials. I'll import my footage there. And with AVCHD footage, you need to copy the files into the event um, if you were importing files from your desktop or uh, sometimes other forms of, of hard drives or things like that. Sometimes you can leave the files in place. But what we want to do here is copy the files in the library so that Final Cut takes care of those files for us, organizes them, and keeps them uh, accessible within the library. So I'll hit Copy Files into the Training Library. Also hit Import. Takes a second here. And you'll see in my uh, event browser here that the clips have little circles um, with some uh, time icons on them. Uh, as the icons uh, complete and go away, you'll know that the clips have been copied to your uh, library. Takes a few minutes here. Depends on how long your clips are. And just uh, for reference, these clips are stored within the, within the event within the library. And my library, this training library, is actually on my computer uh, under my movies folder here you can see training library. And this is a self-contained file. You don't need to touch it at all uh, in the in the uh, finder. Uh, you can see it's getting a little bit larger as we as we go on from 1.5 to 1.72 gigabytes. It's growing as it's copying those files into this library. And the great thing about libraries is that since everything's self-contained in them, you uh, can actually take these libraries and move them to uh, external drives if if you if you'd like to. Uh, and it will take all the projects, all the media within them, and copy it to that external drive. I'll just cancel this for now. But, um, really convenient way of storing your footage and having Final Cut take care of everything for you. The clips are giving, given unique names uh, so that Final Cut can find them even if you move them by accident or uh, they get changed around. It's, it's a much better system for keeping things organized. So this looks like this is all complete. Uh, all these clips, uh, the icons are gone, meaning that they've been uh, copied successfully from my card into the Final Cut library. And that's really all, all there is to it. It's a much simpler process, uh, much easier process, I think, for uh, people just starting out um, uh, copying their footage into, into Final Cut. 
Now, in my opinion, your footage really isn't safe until it's in two or even three different places. So I always like to make a backup um, when I'm importing my footage. So my first copy went into the event, and I'll actually go back to this import, uh, import media uh, window, click on my card once, and you'll see at the very bottom there's a button that says create archive. And I'll click on that now. So what this does is actually create a camera archive um, for Final Cut, and it, it allows you to store this archive anywhere you'd like, um, which is a, a, a great uh, feature update from the previous uh, 10.9 and, and earlier Final Cuts. Um, I want to store my media on an external drive, so I have a drive hooked up. It's called Media Drive. I'll go to Projects, uh, Final Cut Training. I'll just call this uh, Card 1. And you see it's 2.7 gigabytes. I'll hit Create. Um, we have a little time icon start to uh, cook here in the left-hand column. And I can actually close this media import window uh, and continue to uh, edit in Final Cut while uh, it creates a, an archive of the card. So as you can see, this is actually creating this archive on my external drive under the folder I chose. Um, it's, it's a little package file that has everything that was on the card uh, for safekeeping. So there's a copy within the Final Cut library and also that backup of your raw footage just in case you ever would need to come back to it um, if something got deleted or if you um, mistakenly move the project just so you have a backup. It's a few minutes to complete, just about as long as it does to copy the other clips. One thing you definitely don't want to do is uh, click on either these cards or cameras and start delving into these um, file folders. Um, I've seen a lot of people try to take these MTS files and edit them directly with Final Cut and it actually will work now with a 10.1 update um, which is good as a last resort but um, there's a lot of other information in this AVCHD package file that tells Final Cut um, which clips uh, should be stitched back, into, back together into longer clips, um, the names of clips, the times, things like that. So uh, it's always best to keep this AVCHD file uh, self-contained, moved as a whole if necessary, or even better, using the import functions as we just discussed in Final Cut Pro 10 to import the clips uh, directly into your, into your edit system without messing with the card structure itself. So say we want to re-import from that camera archive we created. Uh, very simple process, very similar to importing from the camera itself. You just need to go over here to the left and click the icon for the media import window. And I'll actually go into my finder. And you can see I created uh, a folder here with my card archive. And just take this card archive and drag it right into the favorites window. I click on this card archive. All of my uh, clips come right up. And I can import into my event. So. Uh, always a good idea to have a backup of your footage somewhere else if uh, you can't afford to lose it. Hard drives fail all the time and uh, having backups is, has saved me more than once in my life. So that's about it. Uh, giving you a rundown of how to import ABCHD files into Final Cut Pro 10. Um, what not to do with uh, ABCHD cards and cameras and also how to create archives and import archives uh, for backup of all your, your media on external drives. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments, and I hope this has been helpful for uh, getting your video into Final Cut uh, and ready to edit.